Where's your girlfriend? Finishing her breakfast? I hear you guys don't do well in bed. That must be why she chose to take the night shift, huh? Maybe I should teach her. Hmm? How are you anyway? One on one. Out of the way. Good morning. Morning. Hi. <laughs> Shall we do a restaurant? If you want, I can cook dinner. Do you? I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Why aren't you on shift? I warned them. So you sure you don't want me to drive you? Vash, I'm fine. So much for being in lockup. Oh, I'm ready for freedom. I'm just afraid that you might decide to cure me of another ulcer. Or remove the pressure completely. Oleg, the MRI was fixed. Go to the capsule before you go. Last time, the picture was not of optimal quality. Keep in mind, if you discover one more disease in me, you'll be put on the bed next to me, understand? Am I imagining things from what I'm seeing? Unfortunately not. Hey guys, did you fall asleep in there? What's with the faces? Did you two see a dinosaur? Oleg Viktorovich. Indeed, there are some changes. We got a new neurologist the other day, Bagarov. Go see him. Bagarov's a psychiatrist, no? Two residencies, two specializations. Al. Look, are you really interested? I don't know, maybe read something more relevant about life, hmm? Well, but the people haven't changed. Mm -hmm. Okay, who do you see yourself as? Hmm? As a 14-year-old noblewoman mm -hmm, who babbles no. in French? Mm -hmm, so who then? Maybe as a duke who talks to an oak tree. <laughs> no, but you said you haven't read it. Listen, this Russian language is... Husband? <clears throat> he says he's not coming today. Listen, I've already stopped filtering where the truth and the lies are. It's so obvious. Why do you put up with it? I don't know. Well, well, well. Hi, doctor. There was a round and I could not find you in your room. Please proceed to the examination room. And me? You'll be examined later. Oh, okay. Tell me, is there any information about the parents of the triplets? Uh, not yet. When there is, I'll tell you. Let's go, Natalia's waiting. Okay. Aaron, uh, I watched the tapes of the world championships in Paris. The way you pulled the barbell in your third attempt in the push-pull, uh, well, it made me believe that people can achieve anything. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, hence, a prize for me personally. <laughs> and a very special thanks for this orange. Uh, this way, Natalia is waiting. Michael, what's your surname? Chamberlainovich. So anything new? Michael Chamberlainovich? The fetal heartbeat is clear, rhythmic. Mm-hmm. No bradycardia? 
Yes. It's pronounced. The fetus is suffering. The baby? Don't worry, please. Michael Chamberlainovich listened attentively to the beating of your abdominal aorta, because the fetal heartbeat is much lower. Thank you. Genya, sit down. Let's do an ultrasound. Excuse me, doctor. Come in. Oleg Viktorovich, need some support? What is this? Some kind of family psychotherapy? I think not. Should I wait outside? What do you think? I'll be right here. Here. Information about the new interns. Not much so far. That's all there is. Mm, thank you. Uh, Dina Rafalovna, is it true that you are not only the keeper of official information, but also unofficial information? Yuri Alexievich, I consider it unprofessional to say something personal about people who I've been working with a while. In any case, it's not part of my job description. <laughs> What if I ask you to expand it a little bit? Do you want me to resign? Why don't you just say so? No. I'm interested in Inga Lizarova. What, where, when, with whom, and why. Off to my rounds. Think about it. Igor Konstantinovich, let's dispense with the additional analysis and such. I know all these games. Clearly they've examined me head to toe and asked me a thousand questions. MRI showed multiple demyelinating lesions, plus increased tendon reflexes, plus some other minor signs, shoes worn to one side. My diagnosis is multiple sclerosis and a very rapid development of right-sided hemiparesis. So how many years? till I become a vegetable. Maybe a year, maybe 10. You know it yourself. The earlier it's detected, the faster it progresses. I know. Oleg Viktorovich. Yes? Goodbye. Dad? Oh, look at the mess you've made with radiology. Turns out I'm fresh as a cucumber and healthy as a buffalo. Hup. Grab your bag, call a taxi. Dad, wait, what did he tell you? You've been here a long time and we haven't had a proper conversation. Hi. Hi. How is Germany? It's good. My job and my career. Hmm. And you? I'm running the center. <laughs> Who would have thought that a year ago? <sighs> yes, a lot has changed in a year. By the way, Olga, I was actually very surprised that your company started research here. What do you mean? Well, maybe you don't know. Things are quite complicated around here. And you and I both know it will only get worse. I have a different opinion on this. I think we'll take a risk. Olga, listen, why would you risk it? Let me give you a few better and more reliable options. Hmm? Or are you here for Lazarev? Maybe you're here for Pazanov. Have you decided to exchange your comfortable place for the war trenches? I understand. 
But you should also understand, Ruslan, no one will make you head of department anyway. It's pretty much guaranteed that you'll have less money and status. Why would you want that? If I'm not needed as an obstetrician, I'll leave. Listen, don't be like Batmitjeva. It doesn't suit you. Work quietly in your place. We'll involve you in serious operations anyway, slowly but surely. In the meantime, we'll find a decent reproductologist in your place. Anyway, tomorrow free up the morning and start making your rounds. Like the rest of us mortals. <laughs> Is that a deal? Why are you looking at her like that? Is something wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong. Just a familiar face. I thought I'd seen her somewhere. Why did you suspect preeclampsia? Chest pains. On top of that, during pregnancy, her blood pressure was up to 160 over 90. She says she took adrenal mimetics with no effect. And now? BP 104 over 60. Already administered magnesia relanium. She's close to labor, so I came straight to you. Looks like preeclampsia. Oh, Nikolovich. OK, sped all the tests. You're in by catheter and uh -huh. an anesthetist. She's close to having convulsions. Uh-huh. Michael, you made one forgivable mistake for a newcomer, but then you didn't make a sound for your entire round. Everyone makes mistakes. I look for those who learn quickly from their mistakes. I chose you for your courage and self-confidence. If this was your typical performance... No. No. The biological parents of the triplets are dead. But there must be some other relatives. Go find them. Evgenia will give you the contact of a policeman who may help you. The OR is ready. Okay, thank you. Yuri Alexevich, I'm sorry, but we're losing time. Just a moment. Like Paganini. Spider Woman. Spider Woman. That's what they called her as a child. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. And how tall is she? 1.9 meters. Was she always this slim? Yes, since she was little. Is she smart? Yes, she always mocked me for not being as clever. What does she compose, poems or music? She does both. Doesn't work anywhere? Earns nothing and can lie on the sofa for half a year. Frequent bronchitis. Dad was also tall and slim, maybe even a musician. How do you know that? So what do we have here? We have an asthenic physique, hyperplasia of muscular tissues, arachnodactyly kyphoscoliosis, plus an IQ off the top of the scale and an uncontrollable urge to create. If we take all of these symptoms and put them together, we have? Marfan syndrome. Bravo, Natalia Bakmecheva. Which means she has an aortic aneurysm dissection. And in 29 years, this went unnoticed? What if it is eclampsia after all? Didn't you hear? We're starting conservative therapy. Please call a vascular surgeon and a cardiologist for consultation. And urgently. OK. Yuri Alexievich. Yep. You are not so easy to catch. Ah, maybe I just don't need to be caught. I'm talking about the drug research that Olga started at the center. And? Tell her no. <laughs> Why? An institution under investigation cannot possibly make commitments of that nature. The center could be closed before the research is finished, and this will jeopardize the whole of Russian medicine. You know, I believe that Russian medicine will somehow survive. And I, in turn, would like to remind you that your boss has set a task for me to bring the center out of crisis. And if I may have your gracious permission, I'll do as I see fit. Hmm. Maybe Natalia and I will have a word after all, huh? You could try. And maybe I, in turn, will talk to my old friend Gaina and tell him that while he's in there preparing the divorce papers, now, here you are fighting for the success of one charming reproductologist's career and trying to get his new girlfriend thrown out of the center. Tell me, Inga, do you really think this information will not affect your marriage plans?
what happened. The vascular surgeon has given a preliminary opinion that Pavlova does indeed have Marfan syndrome and suspected aortic dissection and dilation. Well done, you've guessed everything. You gave too many clues. Now we just need to get her out of the acute state. Yeah, the slightest physical strain and the aorta will burst. We should do a CT scan along with a contrast agent. Prohibited technique? Do we have a choice? We have to confirm the diagnosis. If you don't mind, of course. I don't mind. What's taking her so long? Can't see the veins. Okay, I'll go calm her down. Otherwise, she'll die and we'll be finished. So? What's up? How are you feeling? Mm-hmm. That's good. So tell me, is Patricia your creative name? No. As funny as it sounds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So your musician father chose your name? Mother did. I know, she doesn't look like an intellectual. That's a separate story. I'm sorry. Doctor, please tell me. My baby will have Marfan too, won't it? 50-50 chance. Mm. Lucky me. Well, who's your baby's daddy? The truth is, I don't even know his phone number. Okay, it's ready. Quiet, uh, quiet, take it easy. Gurney, over here, quick! Natalia Vladimirovna. Yes, Michael? Uh, your assignment has been completed. Did you find the relatives of the triplets? Yep. I found both grandparents. They're waiting near your office. You did that really quickly. Well done to you. Thank you. <laughs> you didn't tell me about the phone. I always thought I had nothing in common with my mother. I was even proud of it. But I did everything just like her. Party in a random crowd with no one familiar, and suddenly him. Love at first sight? He said at first word. I sang my song there. You know, I always thought I was some kind of Martian. Suddenly my soulmate. He had to go out in the morning, he took my phone, and disappeared and left me with all of this. Doctor, what if I end up not making it? Will you save the baby? Hello. Hello. You have one minute. Thank you very much. right away. I should have taken you to the doctor a long, long time ago. I'm so sorry. Mom, <laughs> you don't have to say goodbye to me. I'm not dead yet. You know her? I've seen her before. I just can't remember where. Maybe in the clubs. I used to work as a bartender. Uh-huh. Well, I don't go to clubs. But I feel the same way, like I've seen her somewhere. All right, I'm gonna go. I've got an IV to put in. It's impossible. Excuse me. 
Since childhood, David has been telling us all, even the smallest details of his life. No, it's impossible. I'm telling you this scammer decided to profit from our grief. The accident was in the news. What does she expect? That we, two old, happy idiots, will sign over the flat to her? I perfectly understand how you're both feeling right now. But please hear me out. In the life of any person, especially a man who has lived his life with a sense of dignity, there may be a situation when he will not be sincere and open even with the people who are closest to him. Mm, we're not suggesting you take our word for it, but you must have some personal belongings of your son, something that belonged to your daughter-in-law. We can do a DNA test and tell you if this is your granddaughter. I don't know. We've had a lot of pain and disappointment in our lives already. Excuse me. And they are so afraid of this pain that they will not give a chance of happiness to them or others. They'll come back. I bet the wife will. What do you think? Patricia, what's wrong? Are you unwell? Help, please. Help, please! Patricia, what's wrong? What's going on? BP, 70 over 40. Prepare the OR. Save my daughter, please! Take the mother away. I don't need a CT, it's a dissection. I'm calling the vascular surgeon. Give it to me. Thanks. Just a moment. Here it is. Stitches. Done. Well, our work here is done. Colleagues, now it's over to you. Tools. You're absolutely right. A large section of abdominal aorta is dissected. Starting the endoprothesis. Thank God. We made it in time. Is that her? That's her. Where did you find it? People, the day before yesterday, I met the most extraordinary girl on earth. I lost her phone. I don't know her name. But I know that she writes poetry, sings songs, and lives in the city on the Neva. Please help me find her. I'm sure it's love. Wow. And exactly nine months ago. It's definitely him. Accidental dad. Well, Michael, you shouldn't be a doctor. You should be a psychic detective. Will you send this to me? Sure. How do you feel, Patricia? I'm feeling okay. Your son doesn't have Marfan syndrome.
for you. Please don't look now, I'm a bit embarrassed. Okay. Natalia, do you have a piano anywhere? Will you show me? I have to go home. I don't recognize you. You used to be much more reverent about signs of attention from patients, especially like this. I remember now for some reason how one time the lights went out in the dorm and I couldn't drive away from you, remember? I do. An order came from the city health department to fire your Lazarev. Why wasn't you fired then straight away? With Kashina and Samiridov? I have no idea. It's amazing that you're still trying to influence me with such methods. No, Tool, stop it. It's not me. It's the city health department. I can't argue with them. You used to be able to argue with any official in this country, if you wanted to. To the city? No, to the center. Because if it's because of Andrei Lazarev, then I should know about it. Uh, yes, I made it all happen. Lobbied for it, organized it. When I found out that his wife died. What about Bakhmativa? What about her? She's Joan of Arc. They have some other kind of happiness. Yeah, to defeat the British and burn alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly not live peacefully at home with a loved man. And now there has to be some kind of a but. But... When you and I met at the conference, I already decided I was going to say no. I kept thinking about... 
how I would arrive, what I would say. I've been replaying the scene over and over again, and then I remembered. All the pain and hopelessness that came every time he showed up. When he showed up? <laughs> Can you believe it? I was just opening the door. And I knew for sure that in an hour, in two hours, in a day, he'd still be gone. No matter what I did, no matter what I said. He just wouldn't allow himself to be happy. <laughs> then I don't understand all the more. Why'd you come back? Because it's been so long since I just felt good. I remember that time in New York. We were running around the city like two crazy animals. This is where I saw my first dawn on the Neva. I remember, of course you did. You know, I've seen many unforgettable sunsets here back in the day. Yes. It's just scary, Lazarev, how we get along. Yeah. Natalia. I want to ask you a question. There's a man in the water! That's it. Let's pull. A bit more. Oh, no. Just a moment. In general, I did a lot of things. Gymnastics, freestyle wrestling. Mm -hmm. And at 15, we lived side by side with weightlifters at training camps. I see. Did you fall in love with the sport or with the weightlifter? You're a strange doctor, Nikolovich. So, you're more interested in my story than in my diagnosis. Professionally unfit? No, not at all. Thank you very much for persuading me to stay. Mm -hmm. Because if a complication happened at home, this would not have been possible. All of my life, I've been told that professional sports will kill my hormones, especially weightlifting or the world championships. Having children isn't even a question. I didn't want to win much. I just really wanted to be close to him, that's all. I see. And I brought you the book I promised you. Yes? Read it at your leisure. <laughs> Maybe you'll like it. <laughs> and who is Nadia, nicknamed the eighth wonder of the world? <laughs> so we're friends in misery. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. What was that now, huh? Why did he have to die straight away? Hitting on doctors, huh? I see your belly doesn't stop you. You're one to talk. What? What are you mumbling? 
If I see that redhead again, I swear. He is my doctor. What? Fear is everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. I forgot. You've got a whole support group here. Let's go. Let go, it hurts. Edith, you're hurting me. Oh, don't touch me. Who made you who you are now, you dirtbag? Please don't touch huh? me. I ruined my career because of you. Do you understand? Please, please. You're nothing without please, me. Someone. Help. Edic, please. Who made you? A failure into a champion, huh? Please help. Someone is beating a woman. Upstairs, she's my roommate. There. Please don't. Hands off her. What did you say? I said take your hands off her. You're a golden head protector. What are you gonna do to me? What? Are you gonna shake your fat? No! Does he turn you on now? Oh, please. Well, does he? Stop! Do you like it? Please stop, please. Another Don't month. anger at the gods. We almost reached the 32nd week. The fact that we've lasted this long after the onset of labor is already fantastic. That's why we don't cry, we give birth. Understand? Come on, darling. Push. You've got this. Push, push, push. Keep going. Come on, come on. You've got this. Push, Keep push. Going. Come on now. Well, there you go. What a good girl. Okay, now we're gonna push and give birth to the baby. Come on, push. Okay. Come on, just a little bit more. Marie, check. Tanya, check. Who's next? Sonia. Sonia, that means wisdom, right? Original Armenian name. Come on. You've got this, you've got this. Keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Isla. You can do anything. Natalia Vladimirovna. Their parents died, didn't they? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Just a little bit more. Well done. As soon as it's confirmed that they will live, we call the press. Feeling better? And how's Alia? Alia's fine. She gave birth. A full set, like Chekhov's three sisters. Mm. Alexei Nikolovich. Quiet, quiet. What are you trying to tell me? That I'm as handsome as Marlon Brando? No, this is all my fault. I've been bowing down to him since I was 15. And he got used to it. He was the one who won at that world championship. I understand, but you're the one who made it. So it's a reason to hate, abuse, and cheat? Do you know what the most frustrating thing is? That you really think it's love. Yeah, this is some kind of thing of Russian woman, you know? Love should be suffering and sacrifice. Oh. Air, you're an amazing woman. Amazing. Amazing, just see it. It's okay. I'll keep the kids.
Yuri Alexievich is asking for you, Natalia. The film crew are here. You rest. I'll come back later. Admittedly, I would very much like to imagine what happened was a result of my efforts alone. But no, no. Uh, to be fair, I have to say that this particular decision, a very brave decision, to prolong the pregnancy in order to give life to two more babies, was not mine. That decision was made by head of the OR department, Natalia Vladimirovna Pakmicheva. We took a big risk, a very big one. But once again, Natalia Vladimirovna has proved to me and to all of us that the impossible is possible. I'm very happy. I am proud that our center employs such a talented, unique specialist, Natalia Vladimirovna Pakhmicheva. Natalia Vladimirovna, please comment. We wouldn't have succeeded if it hadn't been for their brave mom, who was ready to risk her life to save the children. Everything turned out like the bumblebee, which by all laws of aerodynamics should not fly, but is totally unaware and flies anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> Good night. Good evening. So you didn't get any trouble at home yesterday for the theater? And you? You know, not me. Ashka didn't even notice that I came home late last night. She was engrossed in an English lesson on uh, Skype. So you and I had a secret date. <laughs> Lucky us. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Maybe we can do it again sometime? Alexander Anatolovich, I hope you are not making me seriously consider becoming your fifth wife someday. Yeah. Bye then. Bye. You know, I've always appreciated women with a good sense of humor. See you. Natalia Vladimirovna, hi. I was watching the news report. They showed the child. The little girl. She looks just like David as a baby. She has the same eyes, same hair. Can I see the children? Yes, of course. Thank you. Michael? Yes? Please can you take Miriam Armanovna to the neonatology room? Let's go. You're at the wrong office by mistake? I did make a mistake. When I saw you for the first time back then in the classroom, it kind of hit me. Made a mistake, said to myself, it doesn't mean anything. There are many other girls like that out there. Made a mistake when I left you that night. Made a mistake when I put my car away and let you drive off. I've made many mistakes. And now it's not me, but someone else who gets up at night to my son's cries. That's not your son. <sighs> Natasha, please, come on. I know that you had nothing with Bazanov. You ended things, and it took him a long time to put himself back together, and that Lazarev of yours showed up much later. Natashka, I know I've caused you a lot of pain, but it wasn't all pain. Misha is not your son. We have no connection. I have something that I need to confess to you. I stole Mishka's dummy and took it to the lab. Will you tell me the truth or shall I call the lab? He's not your son. Yaroslav Nikolaevich, hi, you well? Right.
Wait, are you sure? And it's not a mistake? I see. And I keep thinking, why is Mishka's hair so dark? Natalia! Wait! Natalia, where are you going? Oh, shit. Anything you want to tell me, Usain Bolt? Let's go. Let's go. Remember our freshman year? We had a party at uh, Romka and Oksana. Remember how I took you to your place? We were drunk as hell. Remember? Where'd they live? In Chiromsko. That's right, Chiromsko. You were sitting like this and suddenly you ask, does everything in this world have to have such a short shelf life? Even love, do you remember saying that? Like a carton of milk. Look, I don't know what dodgy lab he did his test in, but... But theoretically... Bazenchik, I found out I was pregnant the day after I slept over at your place. How did you find out? Blood test? Ah! Are you watching where you're going? Calm down, calm down. Let's sort this out without calling the police. Okay, sure. I have to get back to the center. I'll get a taxi. Hold on, I'll be quick. Natalia! Should have had the baby at 20. Then it would have been without me. Hello. Hello. Aren't there any other doctors? Uh, I'm sorry. What's wrong with me? What's with your lip? Alexei Nikolaevich saved a pregnant patient from a raging husband today. Thank you. Now it's my turn to ask questions. What is your complaint? Severe swelling, pain in the side, BP's 150 over 100. Mm-hmm. Which side? Right one. Do what you must, but no ultrasound. Why? It's harmful. 
Which of the ultrasound myths is bothering you? The baby is afraid of ultrasound, so it turns away. Or that it's unethical because what happens inside your body is intimate. It causes cancer. I have read a lot of international studies. Almost all of them proved it. Glory to the internet. Here you go. Listen, my grandmother, my mom and two sisters died of cancer. Still making fun of me? Lift up your blouse, please. Thank you very much. Uh, it hurts? Of course it does. Uh, now. Yes. Be careful. And here? Y yes. How about here? Yes. Oh. What's there? What's the scar? From appendicitis. I... It's kind of odd. It's normal. All right, let's wait for the test results, okay, Zenya? Let's get a clinical blood test, a coagular gram, expanded biochemistry with transaminases and electrolytes, urine by catheter. It's nothing, just a rotator cuff injury of the shoulder joint. Does it hurt? Like three ribs smashed to pieces. I'm not doing the night shift today. I've got my dad at home. I just didn't want him to be alone after the hospital. Mm, okay. Let's go for a walk. Let's go. <laughs> hey, come here. Come on. Come here. Are you in a hurry? I just don't want your son to see me half-dressed again. Do you think he remembers that? <laughs> he was about eight years old. I will never forget his eyes the way he looked at me. What happened? <sighs> what do you want? Hmm? I want you to stay right here with me. I already stayed with you before. We had that before, and already then it was like a bad drama. The humiliation of hiding from your wife, from my husband. And then from your second wife and from my second husband. Oleg, darling, I'm a grandmother. I understand. I'm an idiot. My God, can't believe I went between you and Lidka for six years and then another woman. Have you read this? Many times. Yes, I know. It's your big dream. Going around the world. Yes, I really want to do that. Like that man. But I don't want to walk. Not alone. I love you. <sighs> it's funny, of course. It took 30 years to put those three words together. You know what I really want right now? I really want to tell you to drop everything and come with me. But... As it turns out, I've had my head x-rayed. The experts have said I have MS. And it's progressing really fast. I shouldn't ask you to brighten up my last few days, so go to your husband. He's a very good man. He's a wonderful man, please. Go, I'm begging you. Go. Please.
Lapik Alexandrovna, leukocytes and bacteria in the urine. Alexei Nikolaevich instructed to do more tests to establish the functional activity of the kidneys. Lycocyturia, bacteria? Thoughts? Acute pyelonephritis, asymptomatic bacteriuria. Elevated blood pressure, edema, ocular fundus changes, retinal edema and angiopathy indicate what? Adjunctive preeclampsia. So what do we do? We need to do an emergency delivery. No. We don't understand how critical the kidneys are. And we can't fully assess the fetus. We have to do an ultrasound. I agree. The question is, how do you get her to do it? About the dangers of ultrasound? There was some study that actually showed that pregnant mice got tumors there. But that was after seven hours of pouring ultrasound on them. Understand? I promise that we're going to get it done much faster. Hello. Hi. Elena? Hmm. I want to tell you that pylonephritis has a very unfavorable effect on the pregnancy and on the fetus's life. I just want you to understand the risks for your life and your baby. If we imagine that on one side of the scale, we have a hypothetical harm of ultrasound. On the other side... Is a real risk to her life. Alyonushka. Okay. What is she embarrassed about? It's just a tattoo. On your side, please. Where is the kidney? Uh. Elena, did you know that you don't have a kidney? I had an operation in prison. And nobody said anything. Not what was wrong with me, not what was cut out. Some aspirin and off I went. I thought it was appendicitis. Get a gurney and get the OR ready. Mm. Before allowing a woman with one kidney to become pregnant, doctors usually consider many different factors and circumstances, and they look after such women from the very beginning of the pregnancy. And given that you have one kidney, pylonephritis, early preeclampsia, we need to get the baby out now. Thank God we're at term. Can the baby die? Unfortunately, it could be serious. And I've never met a man like that. He... He wrote letters. Like stories in books. Really? The whole... The whole cell was crying. But he won't leave, will he? No, he won't be leaving. Alexander Antoliovich? His was. Continue. Thrombombolism? God forbid. Atropine, thiopental, anesthetic. I'm going to intubate now. Sorry, give me the blade.
Give me the pipe. Come on, come on. Shane, help me. That's it. Done. Everything is okay. Right, Jen? I think we're good. I'm starting. Tattoos? Was young and stupid. No residency, no problem. Lost employment card, it happens. Strange slang, just bad education. What makes you more upset? That she kept silent about her past? That I turned out to be a total fool. And the fact that your wife and son may not survive? Would you like some water? What upsets me the most now is that all I can think about is the fact that these two years, which I thought were the happiest years of my life, turned out to be a complete and utter lie. A cellist and a thief. You could make a film. So much for dating sites. Three stints, seven total years. That's no accident. Ivan, in my experience, I have worked with many ex-prisoners. Returning to prison isn't always the fault of a criminal. After prison, it is very difficult to adapt to normal life, especially for a woman. Husbands don't wait for them. Relatives reject them. Children think they are dead. They go without support, without money. They can't get a job, at best, as a seamstress in an illegal workshop. But the conditions there are as slave-like as in the prison. Are you trying to convince me that she had no other choice? No, she had a choice. It was you. And for you, she quit. She should have said right away. Ivan, do you love her? I do. Then forgive her. BP, saturation. It seems you are stable. Whoa. So it's not thrombolism. Give it back. Second accident in 15 years. You know, I'm starting to hate your Bakhmetieva. I remember the first one. You flew into a wall at full speed, and then you lied about ice in Moscow. Did Bakhmetieva say something shocking to you then too? No. Then I just saw her for the first time. With Professor. You shouldn't have waited three years in the friend zone. Well, you know, she said love sucks and... Who listens to women anyway? But yeah, I forgot. She's not a woman. She's Batman and Robin and one person. I should have found out about the child at least a year ago, but now I... What's wrong with that? At least it didn't take 18 years. I'm in a new relationship. She's doing very well on that side. It's not a good time. Eat. Cheers. Mm, congratulations. Mmm. <laughs> Stop it. Crockpot. <laughs> it's very good. I fainted right after I spent the night with Bazanov. And you confirmed my pregnancy. Well, so I was wrong. And it turns out that when I went to see Sasha three weeks later, I was really pregnant. But only by Bazanov. 
What are you worried about? Calm down, Kalmogorov will leave you alone at last. Maybe he'll leave for Moscow. And Ruslan? Ruslan. Oh, please. I think Ruslan is against any kind of commitment at all. He's all about taking things easy. Come on back, Matyva. Don't worry, we'll get through this. What are you doing here? You don't want to go on a date with me, do you? So the date has come to you. <laughs> You're very sweet. But it's not going to work. Well, if you say the rumors about you and Kolmogorov are not founded, then I'll jump out the window. What's wrong with me? Where's my baby? In intensive care, but don't worry, the operation was successful. Tomorrow you'll be moved into another ward and you'll see your baby. It weighs 300, height 52. Oh, thank God. Oh. Uh, where's Ivan? Ivan? I don't know. I haven't seen him. Oh. Oh. Okay. some porridge lumpy of course <laughs> sure Don't overdo it now. Pity it's the right arm. Can't do operations. Exactly. Listen, you had a friend who can help out with visas, right? Ay, 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 ay. Mm -hmm. Once a day and with milk. And I read your book. And? Do you think I'm gonna get mellow and forget about your <laughs> sin? I laughed and cried so much. Been a while since a book did that to me. Oh, come on. I'm not much of a writer. Mm, you seem to have such a rich and full life. Don't you write anymore? No. What is there to write about? I've said everything in the first mm. book. What about fierce husbands or champion slackers, hmm? Thank you and Pavel for taking back your police statements. I'm not justifying Edik, of course, but... It's not for him. Coffee's ready. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yes, I'm on the first floor. 
By the elevators. <gasps> Watch where you're going. You're the one who's not looking where you're standing. I'm sorry. What are you blabbering about? <gasps> Hello, once again. Come in, please. Talk it over, agree and sign. Now please, come to the place where your wishes come true. Ah, uh, everything happens for the first time. I mean, I, I fell from grace. <laughs> Don't think about the process, think about the future. Do you want me to come with you? Yes, please. For inspiration? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How long are you gonna run from me? Did you want something? Don't you think that we have a great topic to talk about? What topic? What if Mishka is my son? I've already told you everything about it. Don't you believe me? I want a paternity test. Doctor, please help. My husband's not well. We haven't done anything. We've only started. Please call two, five, six, eight, nine. It's Bognativa. Urgently call a resuscitator to the collection Natasha, room. Natasha, no pulse. Canada to Mexico by car, on his own. That's just the beginning, and he's saying that he's not crazy. Maybe he's not lying. How can that be? Hey there. Oh, hi there. He's not making any sense at all. Uh, hold on, Igor Konstantinovich, doctor. Uh, regarding my father, he didn't tell you anything one-on-one, -on -one, did he? Pasha, listen, it's confidential. You know that. Sorry for your loss. Laika, forgive me. Who's Lila? That's his ex wife. Please don't call her. I'll call her later. Please take your sperm. I really want this baby. Take sperm from? You know what I mean. Please. How much weight did you gain during pregnancy? I lost weight, 11 kilos. I checked to the gynecologist on Wednesday. You realize that's not normal. Normally, you should have gained about 12 kilos. Sure, you know your norms. You eat corpses sprinkled with flour and then walk around like zombies. Excuse me? We eat biologically natural food. Uh-huh. Vegetarians? mono -rotarians. Mm. Any pain in the stomach? Luda? Yeah. Strong pain. When I eat, I get sick. And feel sharp pain. I don't even want to eat anymore. 
Do I understand you correctly? You're asking us to go and collect the sperm of your dead husband so that we can then inseminate you with it? Yes, that's right. Look, let's not pretend that we're hearing about this for the first time. In the US, the laws legalizing such procedures have been in place for years. If permission is given from the relatives, then no problem. You're welcome, as they say. There have been precedents in Australia and Israel. I can think of other countries where this is forbidden and considered immoral. For example, France, Germany, Canada. In Britain, it is only allowed if you have the written consent of the donor. Here's the consent. There, in that paragraph, in the event of my death, he agrees to give his biomaterial to the hospital. Yes, that's right, so you can keep it. Angelika Viktorovna, it's not so clear-cut. It is not forbidden in Russia, but it's not allowed either. We have no laws regulating these kind of issues. We, of course, as specialists, can do it, but it is at our own risk. So please do it. Just to make sure we're above board with all this, I had to contact Lilia. That's his ex. Uh, actually, she claims she's not really his ex. There she is. Yes? Oh, you're here? I'll see you right away. Excuse Goodbye. me. You have absolutely no rights to my husband's genitals. You're a nobody. Well, just a hooker who's been hanging out with him a little longer than normal for four and a half years. All right, stop it. A man at 55 needs what? Just a young, sexy body nearby and willing? And preferably behind closed doors. We loved each other. He promised to marry me and wanted to have a child. Thanks to me, he stopped drinking, smoking, and working 48 hours a day. Oh, really? With you, he was like a hunted animal. With me, by the way, he became himself. He raised a son, he built his own business. And it's not for all you, right, sweetheart. All right, all right, please. Let's get a little more constructive, please, ladies. I have his consent for IVF, and I can prove that we've been living as a couple for almost five years. And the fact that he hasn't divorced you doesn't mean anything. Ruslan Avgenievich, who should I give his things to? To me. Look, here's the deal. You sign a waiver of inheritance claims and you take the sperm, since you loved him so much. Or what? Or without a flat on the moika and without part of the business, you don't need a child anymore? Huh? Well, here you go, exactly what we needed to see. I'll take your share of the estate anyway, as his real wife. Really? But well, I'll see you in court then. See you later. Bye. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. I really wanted a second child. And he kept saying, later, later. It's not the time now. Lilia, we still have at least a 12-hour window to collect. The sperm. He... hasn't slept with me for five years. Nevertheless, before he died, he asked to call you, even though she was here too. Yes, but... Doctor, I'm 46. Movement, discoordination, and fatigue? Yeah, he stumbles and he drops things. He gets tired quickly. Uh, I checked his shoes. They're more worn on the right side. Are you sure that it's MS? It could be, but you have to look at how aggressive and progressive it is. A man in his 50s who's suddenly planning a trip around the world in 80 days. <laughs> That's fun. Excuse me, Natalia. How's the shoulder? So-so. Thanks, I'm gonna go. They brought in a woman. She's 24 years old, due in 36 weeks. She was in a vegan cult for five years. They only eat roots, fruits, and vegetables. Everything is uncooked. She has severe early toxemia. During the pregnancy, she lost a lot of weight. Hemoglobin is extremely low, 70. Albumin, 45. Anemia? Severe anemia. And she has a dry cough. Total lymphadenopathy. Mm -hmm. 
She has severe stomach pains too. Fetal condition? Surprisingly, the fetus is perfectly fine. Blood flow in the umbilical artery is good, but there is a growth delay. Her husband's a bit of a nutcase, a leader of the green cult. Mm -hmm. Alexei is obviously gonna need backup. Yeah, he's had enough of inadequate husbands. Hello. I don't get it. Why so many doctors? We should really get going. Your wife is staying with us. <laughs> because of anemia. Ah, uh, you want more money. We actually have free accommodation and treatment under state cover. So then, you'll try to sell something else to us. I know your tricks. Actually, she's feeling pretty good already. Lodochka, let's go. Come on. If you leave now, I will call the police. They will arrest you for leaving her in danger and not providing medical assistance, and they'll check your cult at the same time. Is that what you want? Okay, but she won't be eating at your place. Okay, grab something for me too. Something with blood, please. <laughs> yeah? How is it? Great. That's it. Listen, I suggest you name her Victoria in uh, honor of your Paris victory. Okay, all right. Here, look. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's too funny, it's good you didn't buy her school uniform. <laughs> What do you mean? It's for an older child, for a one-year-old. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Hi. I'll come back later. Uh, no, come in. Don't be afraid. I won't hit you. I just wanted to apologize. I was wrong. I overreacted. It's okay. No, it's all right. Really, I'll come back later. Uh, can we have a vase, please, doctor? A decent doctor? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Or I can, uh... Yeah? May I? About Luda, the monetarian. It's all confirmed. Pleurisy, gastric ulcers, duodenal ulcers, immune disorder. What if there is something else? Maybe the immune disorder isn't the cause, but the outcome. Even Ginya Ilininsha, your desire to get to the bottom of things is very commendable, but not when the essence lies on the surface. Thank you. You've been waiting here for hours for me. Doctor. Let's give it a try. Let's, uh, uh, come into my office. It's open. Hello, Yarik. Hi, it's Bazanov. Uh-huh. Yarik, can you tell me... Honestly, did, uh, Kolmogorov come for a DNA test the other day? Did he now? Oh, really? <laughs> of, course, of course he did, the old fox. Hemoglobin 70, albumin 45, severe anemia, total lymphadenopathy. But there's something else. I'm sure that the immune disorder is an outcome, not the cause. Ah. What about Bakhmetyeva? Bakhmetyeva thinks it's about raw food. She says that the patient has ruined everything for herself. Hmm, you know, I think that's exactly what's going on. Thank you for your advice. Natash, we need to talk. Between Kolmogorov and you, I had a man. One meaningless random night. Just as random as you and I had. Will you stop pretending that nothing is going on? 
Can we stop pretending that our night didn't happen? Natasha, I understand. We've been friends for 15 years. Yes, I'm your Bazanov. I will always understand. Then you come to my door and tell me that nobody needs you and we cried together. Will you stop lying to yourself? Hey, get your hands off. Or what? Ruslan Evgenievich, can you help with the diagnosis? Oh. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Check her for tuberculosis. Sorry. Let's not do it today, okay? Natalia Vladimirovna. Luda has tuberculosis. What's going to happen to me and the baby now? We're going to induce labor. 37 weeks is a good term. And doing a cesarean with TB is quite risky. Do people still die from it? Don't worry. I'll put you and your daughter on a diet. You get broccoli and barley, she gets soy milk. We'll be fine. Tell me, are you saying this nonsense because you're hungry, or are you like this in general? Hey, don't be rude. I'll leave a review about the center and about you personally. Go ahead. I'll be looking forward to your review. I'll be checking social media. All right, Luda, we're packing up. Let's go. Philip. Yeah? 
I'm not going anywhere from here. From this moment on, I decide where I want to be, what I'll eat and how I'll live. You're diagnosing my patients? Could you have just talked to me? You could have called me. You could not have done it behind my back to respect the chain of command and not encourage cocky interns. Natalia, it's not always about you. Sometimes it's about your patients. And if your patient has tuberculosis, she needs to be transferred to a special ward. That's why we have an observation center, so we can deal with complicated cases on our own. Not interrupting? Yuri, hello. Not at all. Please settle our dispute. Okay. What would you recommend to a patient with tuberculosis? Uh, transfer or give birth here at our favorite hospital. Of course, transfer. What other options do we have? To induce labor ourselves is not about courage, it's about vanity and stupidity. Okay, I'll prepare the patient for transfer. You'll do the right thing. You realize what you've just done, don't you? Yes, I've done my job. Look, isn't that Moriska's mom? I'm not hallucinating. Excuse me? Get your filthy hands off of me, scum. Definitely not hallucinating. What's wrong with her? I think it's a miscarriage. When they brought her in, she was bleeding. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Uh, my name is Ruslan Bosnov. You should have received a call about me. Paternity test? Yes. Uh, changed my life. <laughs> Just a second. Lift up your shirt for me. Could you lift up your shirt for me, please? I don't understand. Where is the head of the department? I am the head of the department. Hi. That, uh, nymphette? Hmm, a nymphette. Thank you for the compliment. Would you allow me to examine you? Do I have a choice? Sure you do. You can get rid of a few more doctors. Because of their race, their age, or their gender. Or you could bleed out and lose your baby. What's the term? Twenty weeks. Is this your first pregnancy? 
Fetus size... ...fits the term date. You have a large retroanemiotic hematoma. What do you mean? I don't understand. Please explain. Placental abruption. Alexei Niklovich? General blood test, coagulogram, the whole thing. Cytology okay. too. Can... Can I lose the baby? We will do everything we possibly can to keep you pregnant. Wait a second. I need... I need a guarantee. I need a guarantee. Only God can give such guarantees. We're not magicians, but we'll try our best. Gurney, please, and into the ward. Alia. Alechka. We dug deep into our pockets. And, well, I know it's not that much money. It's for her operation. Um, it's a great injustice that you decided to take this step for her, carrying the girls for her. I hope your mom will be okay. Do you hear me? My mom died today. I don't have anyone else now. What do you mean you don't have anyone? Narka, Gaichka, Sonichka, they are yours! They don't need me anymore. <laughs> you are already our daughter. So, don't be afraid. <laughs> Here. Hold your hand in a fist. What do you keep injecting me with? Blood thinners and antispasmodics. Give me the entire list of medications and dosages. You're up to something. Well, where are you going? Am I supposed to just lie here? Why don't you talk to the baby? That'll be good for it. So what happens if the fetus can't be saved? Then the whole shift should emigrate to Burkino Faso. Or any place with no extradition. Whoops! Sorry. Everything alright? I'd faced a childhood like yours, my dear. I wouldn't be complaining. I slept on an airbed until I was 17 in a small room with grandmother and sister. You'll have everything. You hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? It's a miscarriage. Gurney, operating room, anesthetists. If I...
It's cleaned, but it's bleeding a lot. Oxytocin and tranexam. Yes, boss. Uh, darling, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. How's it going? It's okay. The uterus is not contracting. Alexei Nikolovich, hold the aorta. Blood loss over a liter and a half. We're going to operate. We need to tie off the vessels. Plasma, three doses, and reinfusion. We need to call for help. Call Bazanov. Yes? Who? What's the operating room? Scalpel. Hurry up. You need to tie off the vessels. Mm -hmm. Rosalind, that's your uh, former patient. Is she so feisty with everyone or just with us? Stitches? Of course. Giving up your own daughter just because she didn't turn out to be white? But instead, a bit of coffee with milk. Colleagues, focus. We're tying off the vessels. I'm sorry. The bleeding won't stop. Yeah. Three liters of blood. The vessels are tied, but the uterus is not contracting. Compression stitches don't work. We have to remove the uterus. Pinch clamp. Even Nikola Yevna, we had to remove your uterus. We had no other choice. Otherwise, you would have bled to death. We are very sorry for your loss. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on my way. Truth or dare? What? Truth or dare? Mm. Truth. Did you have something with Pazanov? Yes, once, after two bottles of wine. It meant absolutely nothing. It was a mistake. He and I were able to move past it. He's just a friend again. Who are you gonna fool now, yourself? Andre, what do you want? To not talk to him? That would be nice. I've known him since I was 17. There are no other people like him in my life. Natalia. You still have to choose what's more important to you. Any news? I can't bring myself to open the envelope. 
You're afraid it's going to be a yes? Or that it's a no? I don't know. Should I look? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Street's name is Happy. That's funny. Negative. <laughs> it actually says yes. Now you know exactly how you feel about it. I'm an ant now, my god. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Natalia, I did a test. Mishka is my son. I want to be his father. Mishka is Andre's son. You know better than me about the insignificance of biology. Uh, it was easier for you to think that Cole Mograff was his father? I got over it somehow. Andre guessed that we had something going on. Really? Hmm. Huh. He should have been given a prize for that. And he doesn't know about Mishka yet. Do you not have to tell the truth to each other in your relationship? Give me time to deal with it, please. I can't lose him. Can you please just wait a bit? Buck Mativa, I'm getting tired of waiting for you. Natalia Vladimirovna, I'm here to see you. As soon as I saw the news report about how you helped that girl with triplets, I said to my husband, sell the TV and buy a ticket. And now, 48 hours later, I'm here. Where did you come so far from? Oh, from Vrakuda. I'm from there too. Really? Oh. Come on. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. So, I see that you have brittle bone disease? Yes. 45 fractures. Arms, legs, spine. I broke my first bone when I was a year old. Not all glass people are so lucky. Oh, that's when they diagnosed me. On the x-ray, the bones were translucent. My mom was very worried and carried me in her arms the whole time. No kids, no games. And they actually said that I would probably die straight away of pain shock. And when was the last fracture? I haven't fractured a single bone for almost six years. Have you outgrown it? Everyone says that I did. Actually, it's because I fell in love. Tell me, were you warned about the possible risks and complications of pregnancy with your condition? Of course. In Vorkuta, the doctors sent me for an abortion right away. They said that the baby will press on my bones, that I won't survive it. But I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about him. What if, what if he's born with glass bones too? What are his chances? It's about 50-50. Pavel, prepare everything for the ultrasound. I'll be right there. Natalia, I hope you understand that this condition is not compatible with pregnancy. Wait, I want to look at the ultrasound to see if the fetus is broken. If it's been transferred to him, she's ready. If you don't see anything scary on the ultrasound, it doesn't mean anything. It actually means she will have some hope. 
Do you realize what will happen to the center if she shatters like bohemian glass? Just wait, shouldn't we think about the patient and her baby first? Natasha, send her to induced labor. Give her a chance to live a long life. We can at least look. We can at least try. It doesn't really matter. Not all of us can. Once I, I failed to get a mum to have an abortion. And how did that case turn out? The girl was perfectly healthy and the mum went straight to heaven. I dreamt about her a whole year. And when was that? Medicine has made great strides since then. And learned to treat crystal people? Forgive me. I overheard your conversation. It seems to me that Natalia is right. This is the only way to prove your worthiness. To take on such cases and win them. Think about it. Okay, Natasha, do the ultrasound, and then we'll see. Thank you, Yuri Alexevich. Well, what is it? It's okay. Don't worry about it. Tell me more about how your love stopped the disease. <laughs> well... I was sitting on the windowsill with a broken leg <laughs> and he was passing by and asked me how I was. So I said that everything was fine, the best. He says, what good is it to sit with a broken leg? I say, better this than something worse. Isn't that great? Better that I broke my leg and not my spine. <laughs> I can sit, I can breathe, I can see. I can dream. He climbed into the window to sit next to me. We haven't parted since. I don't see any abnormalities. Remember that it's too early to celebrate. Congenital defects can be discovered later. Never too early to celebrate. We don't have a checkout today, but a tearful celebration. With Aliano triplets all the more epic. And the convict with her missing kidney. Not better, is it? That's what I mean. Look. <laughs> Here's a cradle to top it off. Well, of course. I know they won't all fit, but let them take turns to sleep. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. How do I accept all of this? With gratitude. Go get ready. Come on, get packed. You get packed too. We'll be coming for you soon. This is for Ivanishka. <laughs> Thank you. Same face, right? I thought he'd at least come for the checkout. I never would have thought I'd be so naive. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll go get my things. Go ahead. Irina, you have a guest. As Misha says, please welcome. Oh, are you the Crystal Tassia? <laughs> yes, I am. Right, we have a celebrity award now. Irina Andreevna is a world champion and an Olympic silver medalist. Mm -hmm. Well, I always consider it my biggest defeat. Are you serious? Yes. 
but we ordered a commemorative plaque for you <laughs> to put up at the entrance. <laughs> oh. You keep an eye on her, okay? Mm -hmm. So you purposely encouraged her with that crystal lady so she'd take a chance and screw it up? So I look like Milady de Winter to you? Yes, a bit. Tell me, why do you dislike this book Medjiva so much? Well, you see, she and I disagreed on global warming. Okay. We'll have to think about a possible replacement. Maybe Vikentiev? He's been sitting in reserve in his Snegarevka for too long. What about Ruslan Bazanov? Although, he is a reproduction specialist and has just started working on two fronts. Zhenka's son? Well, why not? He already has himself a famous last name. The patients like him. He's not a bad surgeon, he just got back from the States. Of course, we can't you have with his experience. We'll think about it. Would you take the risk? I would put her in the ward and then keep watch. Clearly realizing that this crystal lady is a stick of dynamite. And inside her... Is a lighter. Exactly. And why are you doubting yourself, Natalia? I'm afraid. I'm afraid that I'll promise that she'll give birth, but she will die. I see there's some serious work going on here to undermine your faith in yourself. I miss you so much, Oleg. Maybe you should come back. You can be a center supervisor. You can work with the interns. Shall I talk to Kolmogorov? No. The center has you. And now I have another concern. <sighs> to see if I'm worth anything without this job, or if it's really time to give up. What can I do for you? A farewell party. And look after Prasha. And most importantly, Natalia, believe in yourself. Okay. <laughs> You'll sleep much better. And the coffee is amazing. Mm, I got it. Okay, I'll think about it. Excuse me. Can I steal Olga from you? Well, of course. If you promise to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> Phone's ringing. I know. Haven't you heard anything about this guy? 
He's life-threatening. Are you jealous or envious? Both. <laughs> but I would still rather entertain you myself. Mm. How about tonight? I can't tonight. I'm going to my parents' cottage. I've got endless repairs to do in the bathroom. So then, change the workers and come to my place. Maybe I'll cook dinner for you. What do you say? You can cook? Mm-mm. Sounds tempting. <laughs> Can I have some? Milk chocolate? Bubbly? What about the 54 centimeter waist? You have a good memory. Oh, by the way, remember when you jumped over that hole in that house that was being demolished? When I promised to kiss you? What's wrong with you, Inga? Fever? <laughs> Posh. You know, now it's probably too late and it's all quite stupid. I'm sorry, but I sometimes think what a heartless bitch I was. A fool for not appreciating you then. I'll call Bagarov. We have a problem here. Posh! Don't you remember how good we were together? How we used to go for walks and talk? How we used to have sex three times a night? Or pick flowers for your mom? Do you think we'd still be together now if I hadn't? I'm so grateful that you left me. I was told that I need to walk more to heal. To heal faster, so you will walk with me. I'm all ears. <clears throat> no, I am, my dear. I think my assistant has briefed you on the case, so you tell me. What do I have to do in order to put this enterprise out of business for good? I've consulted with three respected medical professionals, mm -hmm. all unanimous. Even Nikolaevna, in this situation, the uterus could not be saved. Well, so then consult with 33 more professionals. I don't understand what this conversation is about. Are you refusing or raising the price? No, I am in no way refusing. Mm -hmm. The difficulty is that you yourself sure. signed a consent for the extirpation of your uterus. Yeah, I signed a consent for anesthesia, and I am still in my right mind. <laughs> Excuse me! Whose child is this? I'm sorry about that. She's very active. <laughs> That's okay. <sighs> Sorry about that again. <laughs> Come here now, Hi my there. sunshine. Ah. How are you, my dear? Everything okay? <laughs> Sam, what's wrong? What's wrong? A pleasant surprise? <laughs> Did you miss me? I missed I'm right. you, yeah. I knew it. <laughs> Where are you from? What's your name, huh? Manyanya. I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. Nadia? Tell me what's wrong. Hmm? Let's go to my office. Let's talk. I always thought that love was uh, more important than sex. But... That... When you love, 
It's so humiliating to feel awkward. You feel like you're too big. Unwanted. Unattractive. Like I'm not a woman. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It's not your job to spend hours of your day listening to an upset and depressed nurse. <laughs> Tasha, did you keep that crystal Tasha after all? Remember, there will be serious complications. Yes, yes, my dictator. Oh, Natasha. Romka Matornikov found Oksana in India. What was she doing there? Obviously looking for enlightenment. At the same time, when she was in the ashram, it was discovered that she had run away pregnant. That's where she gave birth. He got the call on Friday. They told him to come fetch his wife because she was dying. So where is she now? At his clinic. I understand he doesn't trust his gynecologist very much. In general, all the signs of intoxication, fever, rotten odor from the genitals and such. An ultrasound? Yes, they found involution of the uterus, remnants of placental tissue. It might just be a common postpartum endometritis. I'm not sure. If you're not too busy, you can come with me. Okay, let's go. Hello, med faculty stars. Hi. Hi, Rom. Guys, I'm sorry for being so spontaneous. You'll owe us. Sure. So this is what you changed your internship for business. I see. Listen, switch to us. I'm tired of calling. I'll come when we save your wife. You're still married. Yes. Why did she go to India? Listen, have you ever wanted to go abroad to look for happiness? I went. Didn't find it. I know. What's with the baby? Pediatricians are examining the child. There's nothing wrong. I trust them. Come in. She doesn't want to see me. Okay. Thrombophlebitis in the pelvic vein and the lower extremity deep vein? It's nothing. Roman Sigurjevic shouldn't have bothered you. Hello, Med. Faculty beauty. Natalia. Ruslan. Where is the med faculty? Or the beauty? You better tell us why you ran away from Roman. Why India? I thought that happiness... was out there. Somewhere. And now I can't look him in the eyes. <laughs> Natalia. Ruslan, and I'm so glad you're together. I always knew it would be like this. Hush. <sighs> Can I take a look, please? Mm. <clears throat> uh. Uh. Looks like pelvioperitonitis. Where's the blood test for C-reactive protein? Procalcitonin test and an yes. MRI? Leukocytosis. 
Natalia, well... The C-reactive protein is off the charts. Do you have an OR here? Yes, we do. Let's go. Don't worry. It'll be okay. Look, she can get sepsis. We need to operate now. Can you operate? I'm asking you. Sure, lead the way. Come on. center. Ah, already left. Thanks. Ah, come on, do you want to go see the fire again? Let's go to our woodland. Direct to me. No other options. Okay, let me do it. Hmm. Quiet, please. Stitches. We flushed the abdomen, examined the intestines. And we had to remove the uterus. Yes, I saw it. Is she going to live? Yes. It's my fault. I ruined everything. I thought a fancy medical supply store or this clinic would solve everything for us. That, she'd tell me how much she loves me. Her flight to India was just a cry for help. Man, save me. Save us. I had nine months to come to my senses. I didn't do anything. She'll never forgive me. Rom, she said the same thing. That you would never forgive her. Why are people like that? Really? You remember how they couldn't stop looking at each other? They went into the same field so they wouldn't be apart from each other. Now what? She went off to the middle of nowhere for enlightenment? Only she forgot to say she's pregnant. And him? Sitting there doing nothing? How can you do that? How can you not see, not feel what's happening to you? That you have something only one in a million have? What is it? I asked you to make a choice. You did. Well, it's work. The fact that Bazanov and I were screwed by a man from our common past is an absolute coincidence. That's not what's important. The woman could have died. Here you go. 
I don't want to take it back to the store. I'm sorry, I couldn't make an emergency call. I should apologize. I opened your album. Were you going to tell me? Of course I was. You have nothing to worry about. There is nothing between us. Really? This changes a lot for me. I don't want to play the love triangle with Natalia anymore. I'm only interested in my son right now. I'm happy for you. The keys are on the table. exactly who she was and what's more important to her. Well, I love my job too, but she's different. I know there are more important things, but she seemed happy at home. There was no sparkle in her eyes, in surgery. You know, the woman from under the truck. It was like an electric shock. I thought this is where you should be. This is your place. And she'll always forget everything personal. Always running off to save the world. I'm not really sure why you are listening to all of this. I'm sorry. Well, you called me. Did I? That means you had to talk to someone. Feel better? I do. It's all clear with me. Why did you come here? To see whether I let you go or not. <laughs> so...
one for me. Mm -hmm. I haven't had one yet. Pavel Olegovich, you take your hands off. So they're not lying about your affair with Irina. And what about the sanctity of marriage? Things are screwed up if the heir of Anton Pavlovich has nothing to say. <laughs> Nikolovich, Olegovich, there is a strange patient in the ER. Is it ever not strange? 43 years, 35 weeks. First pregnancy, not examined. Hold this. Hello. Ina, labor hasn't started yet and your water hasn't broken. Why are you here? Is something bothering you? My sister's been bothering me to come here. Lie down. Ultrasound in the first trimester and then nothing? If you don't care about yourself, then maybe you should start thinking about your child instead. You have a prepaid labor plan in a VIP room? It's all my husband. Why didn't he make sure you went to the doctors on time? Your husband. Gastroschisis? You know, listen to me carefully now. Please. Your child has congenital malformation, namely a defect in the anterior abdominal wall, meaning there is a cleft in it from which the intestinal loops fell out. See, he doesn't want to live either. Should we call your husband? He's burned. Alive. Some boy asked him to save his cat. How come the gastrosis wasn't detected earlier? Her husband, a fireman, died five months ago, and she's been ignoring everything. Get Bagger off to see her. Okay. So I need to prove that when I signed the consent form, I was out of my mind. Yes. Like any deal, this one can be disputed. That's clear, but how? Options? The first option is pain syndrome after a difficult childbirth and postpartum depression. Okay, I see. And the other one? Parents' incapacity. Really? Listen, there is something in it. Yes, we just have to prove that they cannot give proper education to your daughter, mm -hmm. maintenance, and mm -hmm. such. <laughs> And what can they do anyway? This nurse here, and a retired lifeguard. Your checkout is ready. I'm not going anywhere. You've given me a cold with your drafts. By the way, my dear, please take me to your psychologist. Do you have him here? We have a psychiatrist now. Oh, really? A really good one. Shall I? What's his name? Ina, I'll tell you what's going to happen now. Don't be afraid. Are you comfortable? Let me uh, get some pillows. Put him behind you. Is that better? I'm gonna ask you some questions. But you don't have to answer them. You can keep your eyes open or closed as you wish. Be quiet, sit down. Let's begin. Breathe evenly, calmly, and listen to what I'm about to say to you. Ina, please remember the last time you cried. 
Do you feel deceived or abandoned? You met Sergei when you were already in your 40s. You both really wanted this baby? And you got it. But what did Sergei do? He rushed not after the boy, but after a stripy cat. Ina. We'll never know what happened there, who he was saving, what he was thinking, what we are destined for. But I really ask you to think carefully now. Maybe it wasn't Sergei who was the ultimate reason for you meeting him, but the other person, the one inside of you. And now it's he who is deceived, abandoned, forgotten. Well, he was so welcomed and so wanted, and now he's been forgotten. And now he wants to get out of his own body. Her water broke. Breathe easy. Nadia, Gurney, please. Breathe deeply. Did you want her to cry or go into Breathe premature deeply. labor? Bring the gurney. It's doable. It just needs to prepare, Anne. Mishka misses you a lot. I saw him yesterday. At lunch. Perfect. My nanny is a double agent. I miss you too. Very much. Yes. That's it. Labor has begun. So much for preparing. to be taken to neonatology. They're going to examine him, prepare him, and operate in a few hours. It's going to be okay. Uh, come on in. I apologize. We had an emergency operation. Have a seat. Okay, I'm all ears. What's the problem? We haven't been able to get pregnant. Although there are no contraindications. We have tried everything. We took ovulation tests. We tried special poses. Herbal treatments, wheatgrass juice. We've even gotten into various superstitions. <laughs> I keep touching bellies of pregnant women. I got a ficus. They say it's supposed to help. <laughs> mm-hmm. Larissa, um, let's do a blood test first. It's down the corridor to the right. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, doesn't Kostya need one too? He'll do it right after you. Okay. So, come on then. Tell me about it. What? What do you mean, what? 
I know very well what a man who wants a child looks like. I already have one child. A son. First marriage. She doesn't know about it. He was born with a hair lip and a cleft palate. He had surgery. And it wasn't as bad as it had been in the beginning. It was a nightmare. That's actually why my first wife and I separated. Mm -hmm. Have you been to a specialist? We have. I was diagnosed with karyotype abnormalities. And recently, my brother had a child with the same condition as mine. But his diagnosis is definitive. It's inoperable. After that, I had a vasectomy. Then I fall in love with Larissa. I see. You were afraid to tell her. Doctor, you've seen her. This is the best thing that's happened to me. I can't take that risk. Doctor. We can find a... donor so that she doesn't find out about it. Wait, are you saying that you will raise someone else's child and not tell her the truth or the truth to the child? Doctor, who needs it, this truth? She does or the child? I'm going to be the father. The rest doesn't matter. There was no one there. Did you discuss something important? No. Actually, we did. I think Constantine has something he'd like to talk to you about. Excuse me? Lara. Leave me alone. Laura, wait. Did you really think that I wouldn't care who would be the father? Oh. Are you happy? Thank you so much. surgery was successful. We're very lucky that both the lungs developed, and what's important, the abdomen too. I don't know how to explain it to you in a way that makes sense. They managed to pack all the intestinal loops in there. Without lots of follow-up surgeries? Yes, it's important. Is, is my child going to live? Absolutely. Absolutely, your child will live. Doctor... Doctor, thank you very much. Thank you. Easy, uh, easy, easy. You need to be lying down. Just calm down. Easy. You just need to rest now. I'm very shh, grateful shh, to you. Shh. There, there. Lie down. You can do this. Thank you. It's okay. It's fine. Okay? Don't worry. Rest. Vasenka! Oh, Tasia, how are you there? I'm fine. Can you believe how kind people are here? They let me use their iPads. How nice. This is Ira. Hi. Hello, Ira. And they even carry me around. Wow. Yeah. Hello? What is all that you have there? Are you celebrating something? Well, if I may say so. Doing a send-off for our chief physician. Mm-hmm. Isn't it hard for you to push her? No, she's tiny, and I'm already used to it. Be careful anyway, okay? Mm hmm Yeah. I'll go take the cakes, and then I'll come mm -hmm. back for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Edik, hello. Where are you? Yeah, it's really nice over here. No, I think you need to decide if you want to be with me. Taz, I don't see anything. What's wrong, Tass? Tassia, is everything okay? What happened? Tass! No. Of 
Of course not. Tasia, Tasia. Tasia, hold on. I'll help you now. Tasia, hold on to me. Hold on to me. Tasia, hold on to me. Everything in this world got all askew. Well, look. Bagmichiva and Lazarev drive around like deaf mutes in different cars. Oleg is suddenly traveling the world. It's high time for a trip like that. I'm not even talking about things at home. Ashka has English every day. She's gone crazy. Dina, maybe it's time for me to worry. Dina! Oh, sorry. Sorry. I got distracted. I'm not myself right now either. I can't get the notary out of my head. Huh. I can't wait for her to check out. I'm really jittery. Uh, what were you saying about um, Asya's teacher? He's a New Zealander. <clears throat> and? That's it. Yeah. Well, what else? Young, handsome? I don't know. Uh, you know, when I go into the room, she blocks the screen or switches to audio mode or something. Then you should be a little worried. Have you looked at her phone? No. Okay, guys. Did anyone call Elka? I thought that she might be uncomfortable, given their long-suffering history. For her or for him? The world has gone askew. <sighs> Hello. Natalia Vladimirovna, I lost the spell. It's the left leg that broke when I was on the windowsill. So they lied. I haven't outgrown it. It's because Vasya isn't around. I can't survive without him. It's nice in here. It's like an office instead of a hospital. Oh, you know, I too am used to everything being the way I want it to be. I think this is an epigraph to a future conversation. I am all ears. Please. I'm listening. Two and a half years ago, I gave birth to a daughter, here, and abandoned her. She was adopted by some woman from the staff. Was she ill? My motivations don't concern you. I need a note about the fact that I was in a bad state after childbirth. Depression. You need a note for court? <laughs> Kudos for being quick-witted. And what do you have to offer me? If you don't argue, I'll give you money. What if I do? <laughs> well, too bad I don't want to get married. You would have been a worthy candidate. But no, I don't like men with addictions. This is getting interesting. Read that. There's the sweetest story out there about one crumbling American dream about a sex scandal that ruined one very promising career and was fudged because the person simply fled to his home country. I don't know. Maybe coming to Russia and working at this dump feels to you like a fall into the abyss. I assure you, hell 
is a lot lower. What are you reading, Jan? Oh, it's a good book. I read it too, only in Russian. I gulp it down in Russian. Dad can't bring them in time. This time he tricked me. Isn't it time to get an e-book? I love the real ones. I like to see how many pages are left. Oh. Would you like me to bring you a book as well? That would be great. Something cooler than Jules Verne, please. <laughs> As you wish. Are you going to the party? I haven't decided yet. Hmm. Are you feeling grumpy? Or has something happened? I feel angry and powerless. I have a boy there. He's amazing. He... He has a very special and mature outlook on life. Every time I see him, I think, why is this little boy the one with only a few months left to live? Maybe your miracle medicine will help him out. <sighs> I gave him a placebo. Okay, no complications, no triangles, let's just do dinner. Then breakfast, then you can come in and move in with me. Or I'll move in with you. Algalina Davna, I apologize for distracting you, but we won't cross paths on my way back. How's my Jan? Tasia's husband is a minor. What's his salary? She's a certified psychologist. Who needs a certified psychologist in the Arctic Circle? Can we cry yet? Can't we find some way to get some money for a ticket? Natasha, what money for a ticket? What are we, a charity? I warned you about Crystal Tasha. A broken leg is just the first sign of things to come. You have to come to your senses. You have to. Heck, have a heart. There's someone who gathered us all under this roof. In fact, he made the roof as well. And he's doing his own send-off. Come on, come on. I want to see you put a smile on your faces. Onwards and upwards. By the way, Evgeny Efimovna, can I talk to you for a moment? Excuse me. Me? Yes, let's go. Well, what else is he stinging about? A plane ticket. I really want Crystal Tassia's husband to come. Hi, everyone. Guys, come on, come on. Lexi, careful. Oh, excuse me. Guys, come on. Dig in, dig in, dig oh, in. Oh, dropped it. Sorry so, about that. What are we gonna Dad, do? here, some juice. Thanks. Well done. <laughs> Excuse me, may I? Yeah. Pasha, are you sick or what? I don't need a mother. I need a you lover. A lover. Okay? <laughs> oh! 
Oh, great! <laughs> wait, 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 no, wait, no, no, just no. a second. What's the problem? Uh, can you get the phone number of Crystal to see his husband, please? All right, I'll get it. <laughs> Is that it? Friends. Okay, before you all go to your patients' rooms and wards, I'd like to say a few words. Hospitals, as you know, including maternity, are not the coziest places in the world, so to speak. They're train stations, eternal departure halls, too much unjustified waiting. So, I'm very glad that at the end of my journey, I've I found a hospital that is also a home. And... Good evening. I hope we're not too late. for a long time. Uh, back then we lived poorly and didn't even get birthday presents. But then my dad unexpectedly brought me this cake. It was half a meter in diameter. Wow. I never really wanted the medals. I get it. All right, you enjoy that. Ira, if you try, to carry patients again during pregnancy, I'll punch you. Honestly. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding with you. Okay. Alexei Nikolaevich. Yeah. Will you keep me company? I'd be happy to. <laughs> okay, young people, you guys need to come up with something to lighten this funeral mood. We could play something. Spin the bottle. I want to kiss so badly. Maybe we could play forfeit. Yes, yes. Well done, Nadia. Come with me. <laughs> I'll be right back. So, what is forfeits? <laughs> Check. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> Colleagues, turn in your forfeits. People, tape recorders, cameras, cigars. Scalpels, clamps, <laughs> sutures. Right, I just can't see anything. Okay, that's okay. it. Voila. Okay. All right. All right, all right. Uh, let's mix it up. Shake, shake, let's shake. Go. Just a little do it. more. Do the magic. And let's go. here we go. Here we go. And it's a library card it must from be Lenin Genius. Library. Oh, of, course. of course, it's Evgenia's. Wait, let me see. Okay, okay. Uh, Nadia, uh, what should this forfeit be? <laughs> this forfeit... Say swap clothes with the next person. Yes! <laughs> right here, it says in the rules of the game what we have to do now. <laughs> Whose beauty is this? That's mine. Ooh, come on, Olga. Just look here. You open up WhatsApp. Wait, Dina and this WhatsApp, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid, it won't bite. <laughs> You're funny. Look, it's mostly for sending pictures to each other. You know, see, I have uh, it here. Got it. See? Got it? So... And you'll be able to see what the New Zealander is sending her. Hmm? Huh. What's up? And the Oscar goes to... Yes, yes. Yes. 
My god, you've brought me back to my teenage fantasies. It's been a long time since I reacted like this to a medical uniform. Okay, next forfeit. Ruslan Bazanov. <laughs> so what does this forfeit say now, Nadia? Okay, just a sec. Do a hot dance with the next person. <laughs> okay, now let's see what we got here, shall we? No! Yes! Yes, no. Natalia Vladimirovna. Saving lives is much easier. Let's cheer them. Hello, Ulyana Mertsalova, 25 years old, 34 weeks. Water broke more than two hours ago. Let's go to the ER. Have you been in our care? No. I'm from Kronkstad. I've just arrived. I need Oleg Viktorovich. I'll only give birth with him. Uh, Oleg Viktorovich, um, there's a woman in labor from Kronstadt. She wants you to be the one to take her in. Well, Oleg, go. Sing your swan song. Let's go. Do we know each other? 26 years ago, a woman came to you for an abortion. You talked her out of it. Then you delivered the baby. Difficult birth with breech presentation. A girl was born. That was me. Let's see. The opening is total. And there's no fetal bubble. And yes, the breach presentation. It seems it's hereditary. Delivery room, let's go. We have to do a C-section. Let's have a talk. Alla. She doesn't have a narrow pelvis. And the fetal weight doesn't exceed three and a half kilos. No uterine scarring and no threat of uterine rupture. No asthma, no kidney disease, no vision problems. Why a cesarean? The fetus could have problems. Labor's begun. Baby's in the birth canal. The delivery room, quickly. Seems like I'll deliver my last baby with my bare hands, without a scalpel. Can you do it at all? I only drank soda. Fine. I got my hair creased back and the top rolled down. Grab my baby and we cruise to town. Blue sweat on the brick, the water on the gas. Baby says, pop the clutch and let's go fast. She grabs on tight, cause she knows darn well. We'll be screaming through town like a bat out of hell. Singing, go, baby, go. The cops will try to stop us, but they can't catch me. My girl sails faster, baby, it don't slow down. And we hit the dirt road at the edge of town. The sirens fade, but less just to us. And it looks like we're lost. That's how it is. Bravo. Where's Olia? She couldn't take the pressure. What did you think? Two chairs is a tricky place to sit. Oh! Olya! Olya, Go. come on! Damn it! Colleagues, we're down to our final forfeit. Whose is it? Mine. So, what does this next forfeit say? Well, let me think. 
it says um you need to kiss someone in this room Lazarev, he should have been here a long time ago. Please said he's coming. They'll do the Tsovianov maneuver. The legs are out. Experienced doctors don't say that. What do they say? The shoulders are breached, the head is not. Where is Lazarev? Should I go get him myself? Andre, to the labor room. What now? The baby's going to suffocate. What's he doing? Maurizio Smelly fight maneuver. When the baby is placed on the arm, in a horseman's pose, and they help the head to breach. They put a finger in the mouth and pull it out. You might actually end up doing pretty well here. If you focus on medicine, of course. Mother of God, now we pray. Carefully now. Clavicles. Is he alive? It's a girl. Where's the neonatologist? Umbilical cord? Take it. Push some more. <sighs> Come on, baby, a little bit left. Now we'll give birth and everything will be fine. Bradycardia. What does that mean? Save her! We need to intubate. Look, mind your own business. One wrong move and you'll kill the baby. What do you have here? Ah, oh, I see. Come on. I'm putting her on a ventilator. I shouldn't have come to you from so far away. Who else would have saved your girl in such a situation? Only the last woolly mammoth. <sighs> yes? Yes? I'm listening. We'll get undressed. Allah. I realize it's wrong, but I wouldn't forgive myself if I didn't try. Here. I decided to start from there because I know that your visa hasn't expired. Oleg, I can't. I know. Ah, oh, excuse me. Have you seen Nadia? No. Did you forget we have to go to the airport? I do remember, yes.
open it. Don't be afraid, it's not a bomb. Beautiful gesture, of course. <clears throat> but I don't think that's going to help. Pack your stuff. It's me. The party's not over yet, is it? It is. I just never found Olga Lee and Adavna to return her dress. I got caught up with the cards and... Forgot about my indecent state. <laughs> Playing cards in an indecent state? Yes. It... suits you. Indecency. Tell me, is it true that you used to work as a military surgeon? No, I worked as a veterinarian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I did. I used to amputate limbs to the sound of rockets launching. Do you miss it? Well, I operated on a local boy in Chechnya. I didn't sleep for two days. Stuck on my feet. It took Eight hours. Did he survive? He did. The next day the militants came and shot him. All that work for nothing. This somehow has more meaning. Gonna go. Choo 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 choo. Choo choo choo. Here they are. Look. Look here. Look here. Look here. And here is how they stack up. Oh. <gasps> Oi. <laughs> Just breathe. Natalia Vladimirovna, I'll be getting ready. Yes, thank you, Elena. You think so?
only seats at the end of the cabin. I'll get over it. Please. Thank you. Let's make it quick, as men should do. Don't go, Dad. Pasha, I realize that I didn't give you much. We probably won't fix it in five minutes. But while I was lying in the hospital, I realized that all you have is you. So take care of yourself. Go on. Soon I'll come 